Look at this morning, huh? Yeah. What can you say? It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. We are home now. Suddenly, Anne just warned us and looked in a direction. So now we're going to see what it what it is. Oh! Everybody had to die sometimes, but not today. It's um, almost too beautiful to show you, because if we show this for you, then more of you want to go here, and if more of you want to go here. You won and I can't have this as our own playground. So, this is behind the scene when two YouTubers try to make an uh, intro. Hello, gang. Now we're back again. Now I'm not alone this time. I'm with Matti from Jokkmokk's Guide. Right now I am in my small tippy tent with a wood stove. Now, just recently, the wind increased a lot. I think the wind speed now will be up to 18 meters per second in the wind push or gust or what you say, I don't know. And I can hear out from the lake that it's really it's rough out there. We are in a small bay behind the forest, so we are really protected here. I'm not alone this time. This time I'm out with a guy called Johan Gettner. He has a Swedish YouTube channel. So we are just Johan, me and Annie out here. We're going to spend seven days canoeing, fishing, hiking and looking for brown bear. I have a lot of gear with me. It's actually amazing how much food I have now. And I have so much stuff with me. Normally when I go hiking, it's only one backpack. Now it's one backpack, one camera bag, one bag with lunch gear, and two big waterproof barrels with equipment and food and I don't know. Of course, I haven't stuffed it really, but it's amazing how much stuff I brought this time. Tomorrow we continue in and we are going to spend seven days in this area, Pearl River Nature Reserve. It's a great area. So now it's time to go to bed. See you tomorrow. It's a new day and it has been very windy tonight, but the camp was in a good spot behind that ridge you can see here. Hey you are! Morning. You have been awake for a long time. Yeah, a couple of hours hours now. But you know, we have coffee and uh, uh, like a stove. Mm. And the heat is uh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> With coffee everything is good. And it's my uh, third cup of... No, fourth, fourth. Four cup of coffee. <laughs> cup, four cup of coffee today. <laughs> and this will be my third. Then the canoe paddle himself. Yes. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we will be the canoe engine. Yes. have a fish so let's go there and see how he make it oh. there it 
Ici. <laughs> Vad är det här? Två, tre kilo? Ja. It's actually quite windy out there. Now we are protected and it's still kind of still kind of waves here. But uh, we had to go up to the corner and see what happened. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea or a bad idea to paddle. Our plan is not to die, so... Well, not that everybody had to die sometimes, but not today. <laughs> so we've just been checking the wind and the waves are not good, so... We, <laughs> yeah, we decided two, to stay here. 200 meter <laughs> canoeing today. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough for us. We we had to keep our beautiful bodies in a good shape. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a little, little bit boring if we can't leave this place tomorrow. But we think the wind is uh, drop off tomorrow. So early start tomorrow, and then 200 meters more. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's not super bad waves, but uh, it's not necessary to go there, so we stay here for a while. And we make fire, we make some tea, and it's actually more just so we have something to do. And then we, I don't know, rest. I don't know. It is nice. <laughs> So now it's time for go fishing. I've put on extra wool pullover under my jacket because it's quite chilly with the wind. We want some perch so we can smoke the fish so we have something to do. <laughs> it's a little bit boring to sit here but when you look out on the waves it's still not good to go. I think we will have to stay here tonight. The weather forecast is not good and <laughs> the waves are not good. <laughs> it's actually blowing more now. We found this and it's like it's yeah. waves on it. I don't know. Yeah, it's like waves. Never seen it before. I never seen it either. Fried sausage, mm. Mm. hot sauce and tomato. Hot sauce, fried tomato, mm. and a bag of pasta. You have a bag of pasta. Mm. I have a bag of baby spinach. <laughs> spin spinach. Yeah. Spinach. Yeah, baby know. spinach. The wind pick ups again. Mm. It feels like it's uh, changed direction. Hmm. I don't know. A few minutes ago, it was better with wind, and then we decided to have lunch. 
<laughs> Hungry guys. take any risk. Nope. It's not worth it. <laughs> no. After 200 meters in the canoe, we start searching for a new camp spot. <laughs> and <laughs> Oh, you usually don't tell the truth in your YouTube videos. No, no, never. No, you are never tell. But this is how you want works normally, but and behind the scenes yeah. with you on this 200 meter canoeing a day a day and now put up camp <laughs> and take a power nap <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful down here and now when we have the tent up it seems like <laughs> the wind is going down a little bit but <sighs> yeah right now less wind mm. much less wind Uh, I hope we can go tomorrow. It start getting really, really beautiful colors down here with the birch leaves, but it's really local. If you look up on the mountain, it's not colored there yet, but here close to the lake in some areas, it's already yellow and red, but in other places it's still green. Really beautiful. Annie is very often catching wind and of course the wind travel a long distance if it's a elk or a fox or something it's moving around and the dog can feel a lot, lot of more uh, smells than a human can do so it's a very good indicator if there is something in the surrounding I see very much on Annie what's going on and I have already also been in a situation where sh the whole onion starts shivering and shaking and growling and then you know that <laughs> it's not something she wants to meet over there. But now she's just fine and sniffing around. Now we have a really really good uh, sunset. Yeah. And the water is calm, so co not calm, but we could have been paddling right now. Yeah. But we wait until tomorrow when it's windy again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but look here, it's so beautiful. The sun is setting down over there very, very soon. Moments like this feel alive. Yes. This is minced meat. Kjøttfers. Ja, jeg vet ikke hva det er. Meat. Mashed meat. Mashed meat. Mashed cow. And it's actually smoked. 
Yeah. It's nothing else, but it's smoked. Very good. Yes. Cow. Cow from Jokmok. No, the cow is not from Jokmok, but the, the smoke company who smoke. <laughs> the smokers, smokers are in Jokmok. <laughs> 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 so now we are ready for eating and there is no wind anymore it's totally look at the lake it's totally flat water now it's <laughs> absolutely, Unbelievable. absolutely no wind at all so look at the trees and tomorrow morning when we want to go, then it's probably storm, storm again. <laughs> now, but now we're going to eat. Dinner is important anyway. These potatoes are better than the powder. Lightweight potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a good thing about canoeing, because you can bring so... Yeah. Real food and the good, good mm. stuff. Oh. Oh. More northern light. We are so lucky. We was just on the way into our tents and then we find some northern light here. We'll see. And one technique to see it is actually to see it with a mobile phone. Yeah. Or with the camera because you see it better with the. But now it's really weak again. But you yeah. see, it's. Uh, it's still something see, there. Yeah. Yep. What? What a night! What an evening! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is good. We just walking. I walked to my tent and Matti walked to see to his, and then <laughs> we saw something in the sky and oh shit! There it is. <laughs> <laughs> so. 200 meter canoeing today, yeah. one fish, yes. pike, yeah. and then the whole day on 50 square meters. Yes. <laughs> no, maybe a little bit more. But we have a really, really good day. A really good day. Northern light and uh, food and. Good food, really good food. Yeah. Now it can only be worth. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, good morning. It looks like it's a super beautiful day today. It has been quite windy tonight. And I really want to continue sleeping, but... I think we have to go now, because now it's no wind. Good morning, Johan. Have it been windy? Good morning. It was a windy night. <laughs> yes. But now it's uh, perfect. It's... Almost perfect. We need some coffee. Yes. <laughs> I need coffee. Yeah. Beautiful. Look. Hey, Annie.
it could be interesting to see how different people organize different things in the tent. <laughs> yes, this is how you are. He's sitting there sleeping in the chair. Simple life. This is a simple life. He's sitting here with a chair. Look here, my friends. He have fire. Oh shit, and a cup of coffee. And then and you the don't wood. need sleeping bag. Oh no, no. No. I'm sitting and sleeping. Yes. Ultralight. <laughs> yes. That's a, that's the ultralight style. We're from Mundal. He's from Mundal, a part outside yes. Gothenburg. That's kind of backside of Sweden. <laughs> Yeah, it's a super beautiful day. Here it's totally calm, but we are still protected. It's already... It came so fast, the wind again. We will give it a try at least. We, we will see. We don't want to swim. We don't want to swim, you one. No, <laughs> oh! Ja, det var mer att jag sitter i kamera. <laughs> it's actually quite windy here, but I can't film. It's a little bit sad. And now I'm coming too close to the land and I had to handle again. <laughs> oh, I want to film this. But it's it's kind of okay. A little bit Flashy sometimes, but <laughs> you one is trying to make the Eskimo roll. <laughs> 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 I think we made it, you are. It was quite windy out there and I couldn't film everything. Now we are at the camp spot, more or less. And you one is alive? Yeah. It was really strong wind, but we made it. If we had waited a little bit more, we haven't made it, I think. No. It was much stronger wind on this side also. Yeah, today. No wind today. This was perfect. Oh, I'm totally finished. Are you tired? No. Yes. Yes, it was yes on the lake. Yes. Here we go. Oh, I tror det. Det blir bra. Now we have found a place where we're going to camp and it was a little bit too windy out there for filming. Here it's actually no wind, but it's pushing down from the mountain, you can see. And out there, far out from the lake, where the wind gets free speed, it's much bigger waves. And now I can see how it hits. It looks like it's actually more waves over there now than it was yesterday. So, but we reached a new spot. We don't need to be on the same place. So now we have paddled three days and we have made what we planned to do the first day. That's how it is. This is not Instagram and YouTube friendly view with this stick here. But who cares? This is the real thing. Anyway. Now we have put up the camp and I'm actually quite hungry now. A little bit tired, not so much sleep and just a cup of coffee and a sandwich this morning. So I really enjoy the, I hope I enjoy the salami and the cheese and the bread and the coffee and the tea right now. We start with some chili salami. You one is sitting in his tent over there and it's smoking from his chimney also and 
he also record videos for his YouTube channel. So one thing that we have been talking about is that you have a goal for the tour, where you want to go. And usually it's a geographic route or a geographic spot or something. But when you get weather like this, what we got, it's kind of important to remind yourself that the goal actually is to be here. So Johan said it directly when you put the canoe in, you, you are there. That's what you want to do. So if it's 200 meter that you paddle or five kilometer or 10 kilometer, you just have to live with the nature and not against it. Eight o'clock in the morning, we put up the camp here. So it was kind of early start today. I'm still a little bit sleepy and I got my coffee now. I think we're going to fish now. It's time for fishing. one was not giving resistant in the current. I want something that's giving more resistant to my rod, that's rotating harder. And I also want to go for something that I believe works better for railing here, and that will be more or less pure silver. Let's take this one. This is, um, I think it's a MEPS. Pure silver with uh, red dots. We have a Swedish brand of um, spinners that called Myran, or in Swedish it's called the Ant. And uh, Myran, or the Ant, comes in different kind of shapes. They are like a drop like this and this is good for trout and this is good for yeah and they are handmade in Sweden so it's a little bit fun for us to use them actually from I think from Gävle or something I'm not really sure but they are handmade in Sweden and most of this stuff comes from China but I asked Duan what is the best thing to have in the water to fish with and he said the one that's in the water that you're using and that's actually super true. I left my telelens back at the tent and I don't know if you hear it, but it's a lot of uh, something we call mes in Swedish. It's lapmes and taltita. Um, I think they call Siberian tit and uh, willow tit maybe. They are here. And in the autumn, they come together and moving in small groups. For me, who lives up here in the north, this is a sign of autumn. This always happens this time of the year. And they are so beautiful. Tiny, small birds that look like a ball. Super beautiful. I really enjoy them. It's so beautiful here. I'm walking and trying to find good spots for fishing, but it's a lot of vegetation and it's kind of difficult to fish here. But it's a beautiful small hike and it's a beautiful small river and we have a coffee pot with us, so probably we will make coffee somewhere. We will see. It's actually quite bad situation right now because uh, Johan catched a lot of fish and kind of good good fish 
and um, he want to put this like salt into a wound on me. So now he <laughs> want me to photo them. This Matti is, is how uh, grayling looks like. That's how grayling. Four, four of them. I have sausage. <laughs> This is not bad at all. This is perfect. Are you happy with your belt? Yeah, I'm very happy. That this this pocket is uh, so uh, yes, great. You carry the fish in it. Yeah. So look at this. You can carry enough berries and uh, like uh, tinder, or how do you say? And uh, tinder. Tinder. Yeah. What's on here today? Okay. Ten material. Yes. And fish, of course, and you just do it like this. You have a pretty bit of big bag. Yeah. And mushrooms and uh, stuff. Now we have had coffee and we've been fishing and it's maybe time to go back to the camp. Now we're going to smoke the fish yes. with the um, juniper. Juniper. Oh, yeah. Ian. We will speak both Swedish and English because we have one English camera there and one Svensk camera there. <laughs> <laughs> one Göteborgs camera here. Eller Mölndals camera there. Mölndal. Annie have been acting a little bit strange today with a few times. Mm. One time she came running to us and was making some noise or no. so we don't really know. <laughs> Maybe there, were, there was a moose or a bear or a troll yeah. or a bear. <laughs> a bear, bear or bear or <laughs> <laughs> Jag har mer salt om du behöver sen. Ja, men jag tror att jag vet inte hur mycket jag ska salta. Man ska salta ganska mycket på färsk fisk. Now we're discussing how much salt. Mm. But fresh fish should have more salt than old fish. Det Is this an old one? <laughs> <laughs> so the whole idea with this smoke is that you put alcohol in this pot, put it in under, start it to burning, that heat up the bottom of this box. On that bottom of the box you have juniper, the needle from juniper. They start getting hot and they give away smoke. On top of that you have the fish. The fishes have a kind of iron between them and the uh, juniper. So the fat that dripping from the fish will not go straight into the bottom to the juniper uh, needles because then it will start burning maybe or something I don't know that's how it is that's how it works you could probably make the same if you just have an um, uh, iron pot and put it straight on the fire and then you don't need this so you could experiment by yourself without having this equipment with you try at home so now Time for a cup of tea. As you see, there. It's a little bit interesting because I'm tired now and very sleepy. Um, you wanted the same. And this is something that happens to you when you're out like this. It comes to you sometimes that you are tired. And if, if you are a group of person, I see it very often when we do the dog sled tour, it's going through the group. One day you're super tired, you've been sleeping bad, 
and sometimes it's not necessary because you're not trained or something like that. It could be because you suddenly start relaxing. It could be because you, your body is fighting a virus. It could be anything like that. But it comes and goes. One day you may be tired and next day your friend is tired. And if you are a group of person and one and if you feel that you have energy and your friend don't have energy, then you help your friend and opposite. Maybe I'm mental tired because you won't catch a fish and I didn't catch a fish. I don't know. No, I kidding. I think I'm just sleepy because I was not sleeping so much the last night. And the last two nights I've been awake very late and we have been up quite early. But now some tea and just killing the last mosquito. And here we have the smoked ones, do you see? It smells so good, so good. I almost forgot to film this and if we don't film this, it haven't happened. No. <laughs> That's the backside of being influencer. Yes. <laughs> so you had to cover everything you do. Because otherwise the camera got to keep rolling. <laughs> otherwise you don't know if it have happened. No. But now we fry some uh, grayling and it's delicious. Mm. Very, very good. With citron pepper? Matti like it like sushi and I like it uh, well done. <laughs> yes. For me, if the fish just released from the Bones, it's okay. But you won't want it like, <laughs> I don't know, crunchy. <laughs> mm. Yeah, blah, blah. Very, very good. Very, very good. Suddenly, Anne just warned us and looked in the direction. So now we're going to see what it what it is.
finally I got the silent moment and that's when you one brush his teeth <laughs> then he can't talk at the same time when he's doing that so that's that's the three minutes per day I have when it's silent <laughs> it's time to go to bed but we have made a kind of plan now and that plan is that tomorrow we paddle higher up on the lake and then we maybe hike up to the mountain and there we're going to bring the tent we, br we go lightweight then and go high up higher up in the mountain and camp somewhere where we can have a possibility to see brown bear because this time of the year the brown bear start going up on the mountain for eating berries. I think it's time to say good night to you after a great day. Even if we actually waited until we had the most wind with paddling. That was a <laughs> funny thing. But it was a little bit strange with the waves because the wind was very hard when we paddled but the waves was not so bad as yesterday. Hmm. Yep, that's how it is sometimes. See you tomorrow. Ciao. Yes. It's a new day. I'm going to make some coffee. Start the stove and make some coffee. That would be great. So now I'm sitting here with my coffee and some nights when you are sleeping in a bad position when you wake up you feel like you are 20 years older than you actually are and this night was that kind of night but now I got some coffee and kind of slow start, it's super nice Oh! 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 
Anni, komm. So the elk took off. Yes, <laughs> but it was really nice to to hear it so close. Yes, it was. It must just be a few. Yeah. But then we can hear how it. Just the other side of the hill. Yeah, how it. But it was not in a super hurry. No. No. That's two different type of uh, chimney you can have. This is the one that is super thin, that you can roll. This is good, but I prefer to have them that are pieces that you build up. I don't know what the name is, but I prefer them. Especially if it's a longer, so during the winter when we need a longer chimney, then I need to... I think this is the maximum that I want on the rolling one. I've tried this once longer, but then I always got a problem. Anni! We're on the way, you see the lake, it's no wind, it's super beautiful and we're ready to do like 10 km up along the lake. This is nice, let's go. In front of us we have two, two young swans, but they look, they don't look, they look super small actually, they look really small.
You want it baking bread? Or what are you doing? Yes, uh, banak. Banak. You want? Mm. You're not afraid of fat. No. You have how much fat in that? Uh, maybe. 200 grams. Maybe gram. one. Uh, maybe 200 grams. But that's good yes. fuel for. Uh, if you want to look like me, you gotta eat like me. Ah, so that's the key. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Good? It's, it's like uh, abs on a can. This. Abs on a can? Yes, abs. No, like Ab a, ah. On a can. And you eat a lot of them, then you get one big one. Uh, yes. Yes. That's better <laughs> than six. That's Small one. <laughs> It's um, almost too beautiful to show you because if we show this for you then more of you want to go here and if more of you want to go here you want and I can't have this as our own playground. <laughs> the lake is like a mirror. It's so beautiful. Our goal today is to go up on that one? The, where? Yeah, that one. Today or tomorrow or next week or next year. <laughs> we don't know. Now we start searching for camp spot and it's beautiful everywhere, more or less, but we want a flat camp spot. And uh, here is like a bay in, and that's good if it's windy, but it will not be windy now. But sometimes I come here and camp here in this bay when it's windy. Now we're going to search for the spot. Now we find two flat spots for our big tents, and I'm a little bit tired. See this corner of the tent, it's not perfect, but the world is not perfect and my tent is not. My tent is perfect, but I haven't put it up in a perfect way. And the ground is not perfect, but it is how it is. Now we had to live with it like that. But you once tent looks perfect from this side. That's good. It's super beautiful out there now. Så här är det färdig typ på en knorr. Bara hälla på ja, vatten. Låt det dra sig. Jävla vad stark den var. Den är jättebra. <laughs> Eller hur? Ja. Men det var tabasco på. Kanske bättre. Men den var jättebra. Alltså, mm. det sotto i pekarna. Ja. Gillar du inte det? Nej. nej. Jaha, jag gillar det sotto. Jaha. Men... Okej okay, Johan, så so now you're going to catch the trout. Yes, my plan is to catch the trout. <laughs> <laughs> But you saw another fly in there. Yeah, 
So you have the fly, wrong fly. Maybe, but I, I think this one is great. It's called Europa 12 and it's uh, a really good fly. Okay. Actually, I'm going to catch the trout here with this one. I will show you. But a little bit worried because if I catch the trout, probably you one gets super sad. And if he gets sad, he can't sleep tonight and then he's tired tomorrow again. But we will see. Oi! Yes. I got one. But this one is not the big one. I don't know. A borre. Oh. I catch the first one. You are, I took the first one. Yeah, but it doesn't count because you... You're fippling it away? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see any fish. He didn't see any fish. It was a small one. I think this is a pike. Yeah. yeah. Kolla. All right, right. Very good. Snicked. Oh, I catch the pike and uh, I lost my inspiration for fishing because I don't like to play with fish. I didn't want to eat the pike, so I released it. And it's actually an animal and I don't like to play around with them. I want to catch fish and eat the fish. I don't want to catch fish and let them go. <laughs> So, your body get morning routines, drinking coffee is one of them, this is another one of them, and it's a kind of boring subject, how to shit in the forest, maybe you know how to do it, but everybody don't know how to do it, and it's quite important, because you see it everywhere. You see it when you find a parking place or you stop with your car. When people shit in the forest, uh, you see it on camp spots where a lot of people camping. I saw it last week in Sarek National Park. I have already see once here how people are shitting in the nature. And that's what you had to do, of course. And most of you are using toilet paper. <coughs> When you use, when you make it, take a dump, walk away, try to do it 
far away from the water, of course. When you take the dump, you also put the toilet paper under the moss or you actually burn the paper if it's not too dry. Or you put it in a plastic bag and bring it back home or put it on the campfire. Don't just leave it in a pile. There is a small nice shovel so you can buy a lightweight shovel and dig a hole, put everything in the hole, cover up and it's fine. I use the shit on the ground but I burn the paper or put the paper away a bit away from the water. Now I need my privacy. But before it's important that you talk about this with out of friends, you talk about this with people who are not out because people had to learn to do it in the correct way. Otherwise we get the problem with a lot of shit, a lot of paper, camp spots that are not nice. So together we can make people changing this, maybe. What do you think? But now for a while I need a private moment. It is really blue sky. It was a beautiful morning until you wake up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it's raining. That's the reason to have more coffee. Yeah. More coffee. More coffee in the tent. <laughs> but it's not raining. We are söta pojkar. We are sweet guys, and sweet guys are made of sugar, and sugar and water is not a good combination. Sweet. <laughs> no. Now we have left the canoes, now we have left the land. We haven't left the canoes, we left the land. And now the plan is to paddle down along the lake, and then leaving the canoes and hike into the old forest. We are very happy today. Are we happy, Johan? Yes. Yes, we are happy. It's really, really beautiful here. And the morning was super beautiful. And it's warm again. They promised some rain this morning, but it just came a little, little, little bit, but then it's okay again. Yeah, let's go. It's super beautiful to actually film here on the lake, but it's a little bit difficult because the canoe is not still. It's turning around and so on. So you will not be able to see all this beautiness that we are surrounded with. But on the one side here, Parforita is coming down with like a 400 meter cliff. And we can see that the birch start changing color on the top. Last time when I passed by here, it was on the last dog sled tour. And then I was camping up there. And it was water on the ice. It was very wet. And then it freezes up and we continue. And we was driving with the dogs to Harrock and visit some friends and stay there. I haven't edited that video yet, but it will come on the channel later on. Okay, you are. Now you have your sunglasses. Yes. Now you are really cool. Really cool again. Yeah. It's really fast uh, goggles. You know? Yeah, I see that. Yes, yes. 
En jag kan Norway så är raske briller in Sweden vi säger snabba briller. Snabba briller. If you have this sunglasses, the canoe suddenly start flying much much faster. That's a big difference. Now we are going to hike one kilometer up here. We're leaving the canoes here. And because we are in Lapland, no one will steal the canoes. Oh, now, now we're walking around and searching for a camp spot. And we was on the other side and then it looks super nice here. And now when we are on this side, you see big boulders everywhere. And down there, big boulders. I think it's beautiful on the other side, you are. Yes. <laughs> we came from that side. It's always better on the other side of the lake. Remember that. You should always walk to the next side. Good advice from the pro. Yeah, we are happy now. Yeah, we lost inspiration. Yes. <laughs> No good. A, no, no good tent spot. Only rocks and bumpy terrain. So yeah. we changed the plans again. Instead of going up on Farforita, that was our original plan, yeah. looking for brown bear. Then we went to this fantastic lake for camping and fishing and perch. Uh, and now we are on the way back to the canoe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and back to the other camp spot we had. To another camp spot fish. where someone catch fish. Yes. <laughs> it's really nice to be back to get rid of the backpack for a while and back into the canoe. What are you eating, Iwan? Bannock. Huh? Oi, oi, oi. Now we are home again, my friends. More, yes. more butter? Yes, it is only oil and this is butter. Very good. Very good. But you had first several deciliter oil. Yes. <laughs> yeah, maybe one deciliter oil. And now some butter. Yes, Two. butter build that body. Yes, yes. <laughs> butter better body. Butter bean, <laughs> 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 but it's really good. I think, I think you know, in Sweden we say fat is right. Fat is right. Yes. <laughs> I'm a little bit pain in my stomach after my food, but I think it's time for a coffee now. It's time for coffee. It's always time for coffee.
I don't know if you have the same problem as me, but this mats, I get moisture in them. I push warm air into the mat from now, for example, and then during the night it's cooling off and then you get condensation inside the mat. And that's not good at all. And I don't know how to get rid of the moisture in the mat. Good night. Good morning, good morning. And you've been sitting here for a while and won't go out. I can hear that you one is already awake and the sun is on the way up and the light is so beautiful. I haven't been looking outside yet, but I think it's time to do it. And he has to go out first. He's so eager to go. Look at him. And me. <laughs> it's already smoke from you once. Still. And the sunlight, bright, light, sunrise. So it's so nice to sit here and having a morning coffee and just join the morning. It's so beautiful. I see some swans swimming around in the water and yeah. You want to kiss fishing rod and follow the creek upstream. And we're going to spend the day along the creek up and maybe going up to the mountain and we will see. We have no not really a plan. So we see what happened. Me and Anne just left the camp and we hiking up along a small trail that goes to the next lake. We was here some days ago and the color have changed a lot during just the last days. Today I'm not doing a super expedition. Today I just wanna look around having a nice time, looking at the colors, maybe fishing, filming, and make fire and drink coffee. Just keep it simple. You see, aren't they beautiful? All dead pine trees. There is another thing I want to show you here. And that's when you find something like this. It's super flat here, you see? That had been cutted a long time ago. And you can see if it's cutted with chainsaw, or actually if it's cutted with an ax. If it's cutted with an ax, it's later. If it's cutted with a, this kind of saw, not chainsaw, it's newer. And if it's cutted with chainsaw, it's even newer. They have cutted this forest here that is closest to the lake. And then they cut here, put it on, on horses or on sleds, back horses, pull it down on the lake. And during spring, they float it along the lakes down. That was in back in the old days. 
and this is something that we call the last wilderness of Europe, something like that. And imagine this forest before they cut it. When you cut a tree, some of the old pine trees are 800 years. When you cut them, you cut a tree that grows during the Viking time. These trees will never come back for a long, long, long time. When you have more natural forest like this, you have a mix of pine trees, spruce, and also this kind of tree. Uh, this one, it's a willow, or in, so the Latin name is salix, and we call it seli in Sweden. This tree is one of the first in the beginning of the summer that have flowers. So if you have one of these uh, seli or salix, you very, very early get a place where the insects can find food. The spruce and the pine, they actually get flowers later. So they are later. And if you have a biodiversity in the forest, all these different plants come in a row. They don't come all at the same time. When you've cut the forest, and only have pine trees, you don't have this one. You don't have the salix. And the insects, when they wake up, there is nothing for them to go to. So it's super important with the biodiversity if you want insects in the forest. That's how it is. Iwan is back from the mountain up there and uh, are you happy with the tour? Yeah, it was really nice. You know, the autumn colors was perfect. Red and yellow and orange. Super. And he also saw something like a brown bear or something. Yeah, maybe maybe the, how do you say? Brown bear sleeping yeah, place. <laughs> maybe. If you want to learn anything about English, you can just send a mail to me or Johan. Because we was the best students in the school class in English lessons. So feel free to ask us about the language. No problem. No fix problem. It. We fix it. What happened, you one? Oh, no, it's lots of ants here. Look at this. <laughs> ah! They are inside my pants. <laughs> You're sitting on the ant road. Yeah. <laughs> That's big problem. Not happy life anymore. <laughs> no happy, simple life. You don't want ants in your pants. Simple life with ants in my pants. Simple life with ants in the pants. <laughs>
So now it's probably time to go to bed and you and I have been sitting around the fire having dinner and uh, chatting and talking many many hours and I'm a little bit tired after today. I haven't been walked so long distance but I've been in a very nice old forest today and I'm satisfied with with this day. Yeah. But now see you tomorrow. Good night. So now it's time to pack up all the stuff and carry it down to the canoe and then we paddle backwards to the car. And then we will finish the tour. It's always a little bit like, in one way I want to go home, in another way I want to continue be out here. I'm coming home a couple of days, a few days, and then I'm going into Sarek again for a moose safari. But uh, I'm so happy that I've chosen this lifestyle with a lot of outdoor life and uh, far away from the city, because this is this is what I want to do and this is who I am actually. So I'm super happy for this, for the way that the life have brought me. Very happy. Good morning, you Good morning. Last day. Finally we can go home. Yes. Leave this weather. Uh, Leave the lost grayling out in the lake. Look at this morning, huh? Yeah. What can you say? It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. We are home now. So, I don't know if you have recognized how much the leaves have changed color during this week. From almost green to almost yellow and so on. I had a super nice week together with you one out here. We have been paddling, eating, fishing, drinking coffee, campfire, uh, hiking and all that things. It's also super fun to be out with someone who also is filming because you learn from what he's doing and you get inspiration and we have talking about YouTube, we have talking about all these things, what do you want with the channel and all that things. And we had a nice tour also, so I hope we can do more tours together in the future and probably we will do that. And to all of you who have watched until this end of the video, thank you very much for watching. It's so nice that actually so much people looking at the videos. I don't tell you to subscribe to this channel because don't subscribe if you don't like what you have seen. But I guess if you've seen until now, you want to see more and will do more content like this. And we have much more film projects that's coming and some dog sled videos also. So see you next video. Ciao. So now I'm walking here in the Pearl River Nature Reserve and it's super nice with all this old forest and there is sometimes tracks from what was that? oh chick fat it's a brown bear chick oh. see you next video ciao